see, we're going to wire in a uh, three-way switch from an existing uh, single pole switch. Here in the country I was born, we use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bigger the green is the brown. Red and blue are also live colors, however, you may find white live in the switch loop, which you're going to see here, and also in the 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So we're going to run a three-way switch off of this uh, single pole switch. Here is the single pole switch we're coming off of. And we're putting the three-way switch over in the uh, other room there. So. Okay, so we'll drill a hole down in our, into this hole. We're going to put a three way switch over here. Uh, we'll put it right here. Drill in the middle of the floor joist there so that Okay, we'll drill in the middle of the uh, joist here so we don't hit it with the There's one wire pull. And we'll drill our other one. Well, if you look closely, the wire is made here in the country I was born in. That's a nice thing to see. Okay, so we'll push our wire down into the cell over here. I put plenty of slack, so. All right, so this piece will come up to our box, which will be up about here. Staple wires that make sure it's an inch and a quarter of length on both sides of the stud so you don't nail the wire with hanging sheetrock. Boxes have the uh, see the little uh, spacers here. Those are so you get your box to the right depth in the wall. So open up our knock out here. I'll break it out with the keys. Okay, so we got our mark right here for our height. Okay, 
which right on the height. Whoops, you know what? This has to go on the other side because this is the three way switch for the uh, the uh, hallway. So I got to take it off. I'll show you how to take a box off the wall if you have to. And we'll just turn it around. So. Never frustrate over anything. Just praise Jehovah. You worship him. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to praise your holy name. So where was our markers? Right here. So we're putting it right here. Just bring our wire up the side of the box and we'll just come down up here. You don't, you don't frustrate over anything at all. You just praise the Heavenly Father. You worship Him. Put Him first in your life. Lightly score down here, and I'll dig deeper on the end here. More wires up. Get all the debris out of here. Get all the paper out. Make sure it's out all the way up at the top there. Okay, so we'll make our loop and our ground wire the direction our screw turns. You just have to thank the Heavenly Father when you make a mistake because He's testing you and trying you. And okay, we got our ground wire around the green screw. Now this is a twist and lock type of a connection, so we're going to strip our wires and keep them straight, and we'll put them in under the pressure plate and tighten our screw down. Okay, now in our first switch, the black feed wire is going to go to the white switch wire, so we're going to go under this pressure plate, we're going to put our white wire on the common here. We'll make sure our copper goes up all the way. And we're going to use red and black as our travelers. Make sure it's tight like that. Now the two travelers don't make a difference. Let me make sure it's strict long enough. Yep. So we'll make sure our red and black. Our two traveler wires, make sure it's nice and tight, make sure we don't get our insulation caught under the uh, terminal. Our black wire. Make sure it's nice and tight and Make sure our insulation is not pinched under the uh, pressure plate. And it isn't, so now we can 
put our device into the box. Okay, so we got to keep our ground wire down at the bottom and keep it away from everything. So our wires will fold down and up. Hold this one down and up. And we'll keep our ground wire zigzagged across the bottom so it doesn't touch anything we don't want it to touch. And we'll push this back into our box. Now they're going to be putting sheetrock up, so I'm not going to screw these down all the way. I'm going to make sure our ground wire is down so it's not touching anything there. So behind the switch we're coming out of, I'm going to poke this long wire down in the hole so I see where to poke up our other three-way switch loop wire. Put your wires through the studs or on the running boards. I'm going to go through the joists here. So I'll poke our wire up to the pole. I'm going to worship your holy name and praise you. There's the hole I had to poke it up. Okay, I'm going to go upstairs and pull that wire up.
Okay, I'll put a couple staples back here because this wall is open back here. But you know what? If you can't, you can't. You don't frustrate. You don't take God's name in vain. So you know what? I'm going to just pick it up and accept the fact I cannot get a staple in that. I'll praise my Heavenly Father. I will worship Him. And if you can't, you can't do something. Amen? It's God's will that you don't put a staple in there. I'll show you. Okay, now we'll hook this three-way switch up. So I'll unscrew it from our box here. Now this was a three-way switch originally, so I'm going to hook this up now as a three-way switch. Okay, so we're going to take this off here. We're going to bring our three-way switch loop wire in here. And uh, you'll see why here in a little bit. I cannot staple that. And it's uh, to, to God's will that I cannot get the staple in there. It'll be, I respect God's will. If I can't do it, I can't do it. That's all there is to it. It's that simple. You don't frustrate, you don't curse the Heavenly Father. You just do what you can do and do the best you can. And leave the rest to the Heavenly Father. All right, so we will take all our wires out of our jacket here, get all our paper off. Okay, so we have our uh, white wire, which is our black feed wire is coming to the white switch wire. So we're going to take this off, the common here. And if it doesn't come off forcibly, it will come off forcibly. Yeah, it looks like it might have to be forcibly, you know. Oh, it came off. Okay. So we're going to see which wire is live here. Okay, the black feed wire is hooked up properly to the white switch wire. So we'll strip our wires here and we'll hook our red and black travelers to this switch here. So we'll strip our wires. And we'll hook our white this white wire here. And I'll see if the switch does have a green screw, so we'll put our ground on the green screw. Okay, so two traveler wires don't make a difference, so we will hook them up accordingly. So our common wire is going to be the one that goes back up to the light. So. Uh, the black one here is going to have to be put down on the common screw. Unscrew here. Okay, so this is the black one going back up to the light, so that's going to go down here on the common screw. So we'll put 
close our loop back up the direction our screw turns. And at the other switch, our black feed wire is going to the white switch wire. So we'll put our red traveler wire up here. Make sure it's good and tight. We'll flip our switch around and we'll put our thank you Lord for making me bend down and pick them up. Okay, we'll then put our black wire around our other traveler screw here. You always put your wire around the screw the direction that the screw turns. Make sure it's good and tight and our insulation is not under the screw head. So next we'll put our ground wire on our green screw. And shorten it up some. Loop it around our green screw. It's nice and tight, and that's what we want there. Now we'll hook our black, our two white wires together, because this white wire down at the other switch is going to our uh, common screw. Okay, so we'll get our uh, installation lined up here at the bottom like this. Twist them together so they're even here. Like that, we'll clip them so they're even on the end here. See how we've got a nice even twist? I'll stick our wire nut on here. Okay, so now we can fold our wires back into our box here. Fold our red and blacks up like this, push them back into our box, and we'll keep our ground wire up here across the top so it stays away from every from our conductor. So let's push this back into our box. I'm going to look, and if I can't find that screw, I'm just going to praise God and be thankful that I can't find it. But guess what? I found it, so that's a good thing. But if I didn't find it, I'd just thank my Heavenly Father for the challenge of looking for another one. That's all. You never frustrate. You don't curse. Okay, we got it nice and tight to our box here. I'm going to push our ground wire up so it's not touching anything, and... Uh, we are all set. Alrighty, that is how to wire a three-way switch loop from an existing single pole switch here in the country I was born in. Peace. Thanks for watching.